Welcome back to Modern Study Pro. Today, we're going to solve all the MCQs and short questions from Chapter 3, Stoichiometry, of Class 10 Chemistry, Federal Board. If you haven't watched the concept assessment explanation of this chapter yet, make sure to check it out. The link is given in the description box below, and it's also showing right now on your screen corner. Also, all timestamps are added in the description, so you can easily skip to any question or section you want to learn. Now, grab your pen and notebook. Let's begin. Question 1. What mass of CO2 is produced by the combustion of each mole of CH4? Options are A. 16G B. 44G C. 32G D. None Now class, when one mole of methane burns completely, it produces one mole of CO2. The molar mass of CO2 is 12 plus 16 times 2 is equal to 44 grams. So the correct answer is B, 44G. Question 2. A flask contains 500 cubic centimeters of SO2 at RTP. The flask contains A, 32G, B, 2.4G, C, 64G, D, 1.33 gram. First, recall, at RTP, one mole of gas occupies 24,000 cubic centimeters. Molar mass of SO2 equals 64 grams per mole. Mass equals moles times molar mass is equal to 0.0208 times 64 is almost equal to 1.33 g. So the correct answer is D, 1.33 g. Question 3. A necklace has 6 G of diamond in it. How many carbon atoms are present in it? A1, B, 0.5, C, 1.5, D, 0.25. We know diamond is pure carbon. Moles of carbon equals 6 G slash 12 grams per mole equals 0.5 moles. Number of atoms equals 0.5 times Avogadro's number equals 0.5 times 6.022 times 10 superscript 2, superscript 3 equals 3.011 times 10 superscript 2, superscript 3 atom. Question 4. What is the mass of aluminium in 204G of the aluminium oxide, Al2O3? A. 26G. B. 27G. C. 54G. D. 108G. Molar mass of Al2O3 equals 2 by 27 plus 3 by 16 equals 54 plus 48 is equal to 102G. In 102G of Al2O3, Al equals 54G. In 204G, double. Al is equal to 54 times 2 equals 108G. Correct answer is D, 108G. Question 5. The reactant which is consumed earlier and gives least quantity of product is called A. Reactant in excess B. Stoichiometry C. Limiting reactant D. Stoichiometric amount The one that finishes first and limits the product is called the limiting reactant. Correct answer C. Limiting reactant Question 6. Which one of the following compounds contains the highest percentage by mass of nitrogen? A. NH3 B. N2H4 C. N O D. NH4OH Let's compare roughly. NH3 has 14 seventeenths times 100 is almost equal to 82% nitrogen. That's the highest among the options. So the correct answer is A. NH3 Question 7. Vitamin A has a molecular formula of C2H3O. The number of moles of vitamin A in 500 milligrams of its capsule will be. Molar mass of C2H3O is almost equal to 286 grams per mole. 500 milligrams equals 0.5 G. Correct answer. B. 1.7 times 10 superscript 3. Question 8. When one mole of each of the following is completely burn in oxygen which will give the largest mass of CO2. A. Carbon monoxide. B. Diamond. C. Ethane. D. Methane. Diamond is carbon. One mole gives one mole CO2 equals 44 G. Ethane C2H6 gives 2 CO2 equals 88 G. Methane gives 44 G. So ethane gives most. Correct answer. 
C. Ethane. Question 9. One mole of ethanol and one mole of ethane have an equal. A mass. B. Number of atoms. C. Number of electrons. D. Number of molecules. No matter the compound, one mole has Avogadro's number of molecules. Correct answer. D. Number of molecules. Question 10. How many moles of oxygen are needed for the complete combustion of two moles of butane? C4H. Given equation. 2C4H plus 13O2 8CO2 plus 10H2O. Options. A. 12 moles. B. 13 moles. C. 4 moles. D. 10 moles. Given 2 moles of butane require 13 moles of oxygen. So the correct answer is B. 13 moles. Short question I. Analysis of a compound used in photography indicated the following chemical composition. 65.45% carbon, 5.45% hydrogen, and 29.09% oxygen. Its molar mass is 110 grams per mole. Determine its molecular formula. To determine the molecular formula, we first calculate the empirical formula. Assume 100 G sample. C equals 65.45 G moles equals 65.45 slash 12 is equal to 5.45 mole. Now divide each by the smallest, which is 1.82. C equals 5.45 slash 1.82 almost equals 3. Empirical mass equals 12 by 3 plus 1 by 3 plus 16 by 1 equals 36 plus 3 plus 16 is equal to 55 g slash mole. Now, molar mass equals 110 grams per mole. Molecular formula equals 110 slash 55 equals 2 times empirical. Final answer, C6H6O2. Short question 2. How many moles of HCl will be produced when 125 g of AlCl3 are reacted with excess water? Molar mass of AlCl3 equals 133.5 grams per mole. Moles of AlCl3 equals 125 slash 133.5 almost equals 0 0.937 mole. Now from the equation. 2 moles AlCl3, 6 moles HCl. So 0 0.937 moles AlCl3, 6 halves times 0 0.937 is equal to 2.81 mole HCl. Answer, 2.81 moles of HCl. Short question 3. How many moles of oxygen are needed to produce 1.0 g of calcium nitrate? Molar mass of Ca, NO3, 2 equals 40 plus 2, 14 plus 48, equals 164 grams per mole. Moles of Ca, NO3, 2 equals 1 divided by 164 almost equals 0 0.0061 mole. From the balanced equation, 1 mole Ca, NO3, 2 needs 3 moles O2. So, 0 0.0061 moles Ca, NO3, 2 needs 0 0.0061 times 3 is equal to 0 0.0183 moles of O2. Short question 4. Calculate the limiting reactant when Al2S3 is produced by the reaction of 25G of each reactant. Now use mole ratio. 2 moles Al needs 3 moles S. So 0 0.926 moles Al needs 3 halves times 0 0.926 is equal to 1.389 mole S. But we have only 0 0.781 moles S not enough. Sulfur is the limiting reactant. Short question V. Calculate the empirical and molecular formulas from the following data. 20.2% sodium, 37.6% sulfur, 42.2% oxygen. Molar mass equals. Equals 682.8 grams per mole. Convert to moles. Assume 100 G sample. Divide by smallest, 0.878. Multiply all by 3 to make whole. Equation. No calculation needed here. Just for reference. 
Short question 7. 68.1 GCACO3 is mixed with 51.6 GHCl, which is the limiting reactant. CACO3 molar mass equals 100 grams per mole 68.1 G equals 0.681 moles. HCl molar mass equals 36.5 grams per mole 51.6 G equals 1.41 moles. From equation, 1 mole CACO3 reacts with 2 moles HCl. So 0.681 moles CaCO3 needs 1.36 moles HCl. We have 1.41 moles HCl enough. So CaCO3 is the limiting reactant. Short question 8. A student prepared 1.85 G of CuSO4. Theoretical yield equals 2.5 G. Calculate percentage yield equals 1.85 slash 2.5 times 100 equals 74%. Short question 9. Only 24 dm superscript 3 of CO2 was produced by heating limestone. What mass of limestone was heated? 1 mole CO2 equals 24 dm superscript 3. So 24 dm superscript 3 equals 1 mole CO2. 1 mole CaCO3 equals 100 g. Answer. 100 G of limestone. Short question X. How many moles of CO2 from 0.480 moles C2H4 and 1.08 moles O2? From equation, 1 mole C2H4 gives 2 moles CO2. Need 3 moles O2 per mole C2H4. 0.480 moles C2H4 needs 1.44 moles O2 but we have only 1.0802 is limiting. Moles of CO2 equals 1.08 slash 3 times 2 is equal to 0.72 mole. Short question 11. Which reactant will be left unreacted? Already seen above. Oxygen is limiting, so C2H4 will be in excess. Short question 12. Given 48 G methane, CH4, Find volume of CO2 produced at RTP. CH4 molar mass equals 16 grams per mole. Moles equals 48 slash 16 is equal to 3 mole. 1 mole CH4, 1 mole CO2. Volume equals 3 moles times 24 dm superscript 3 equals 72 dm superscript 3. Short question 13. Empirical formula from 40% C. 6.7% H, 53.3% O. C equals 40 slash 12, almost equals 3.3. Short question 14. 10 G in ACL in 500 cubic centimeters fine concentration in G slash DM superscript 3 and mole slash DM superscript 3. Molar mass equals 58.5 grams per mole. Mole equals 10 slash 58.5, almost equals 0.17 mole. Mole slash DM superscript 3 equals 0.17 slash 0.5 is equal to 0.34 mole slash DM superscript 3. Short question 15. Titration. 25 cubic centimeters of 0.10 mole slash DM superscript 3 and AOH neutralizes 20 cubic centimeters HCl. Find HCl so and C. 0 0.10 25 equals M times 20. M equals 2.5 slash 20 is equal to 0 0.125 mole slash DM superscript 3. Short question 16. A. Concentration is the amount of solute per volume of solution. B. Moles is equal to 0 0.5 times 0 0.250 equals 0 0.125 moles mass is equal to 0 0.125 times 58.5 equals 7.31 G. C. G slash DM superscript 3 equals 7.31 slash 0 0.25 is equal to 29.24 G slash DM superscript 3. D steps. Weigh 7.31 G 
in ACL. Add to beaker with 100 to 150 milliliters distilled water. Stir to dissolve completely. Transfer to 250 milliliters volumetric flask. Add distilled water to mark. Hope you understand it. If this was helpful, then kindly subscribe, like, and share this video, and also new videos every Friday.